Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel and today we have a 2010 Subaru Outback and it has a 3.6 liter engine and today we are just going to be doing some driveline service. We are going to be doing the front differential and the rear differential service on this vehicle. Now this vehicle is equipped with the uh, automatic transmission. So the transmission and the differentials are two uh, separate units. But if you have a manual transmission Subaru, then the manual transmission and the differential is, is uh, the same unit. So before you start the service, you need to remove the dipstick here. It's located in, uh, in the back over here it's a bit hard to see see the uh the dipstick uh, tube right here in case if you couldn't see back there the plug is located right here you see the transmission pan over here the differential is right here so this is the drain plug and we are going to fill it from uh, on top. So now, uh, right now, uh, we're just going to open up this plug here. It's a T70. Uh, this one is an uh, OTC T70. I got this from Amazon. I, I can put the link in the uh, description. Um, the hardest part of, the, of this job is to getting this loose because they're often on uh, very tight. So I'm going to, to break this loose first and then uh, I'll start draining. And I'll show you on where the dipstick is because there's a dipstick on top. I'll show you on where that is. So I'm just going to try to break this open first. There we go. Cracked it open. So I'm just going to drain it now. I'm just going to drain this. So make sure you clean the metal particles here to wipe it down and maybe clean it with a little bit of a brake cleaner. This is a T70. Uh, you should replace this gasket, but I don't have a replacement at this time. So once it's done draining, you can re reinstall the plug. I'll, uh, I will put in the torque specifications uh, s somewhere on the screen for you guys. Now I'm going to tighten this up. So the torque spec for this is uh, 52 uh, foot pounds. I will uh, put it up on the screen.
I'm just going to wash down the area here. So we're going to install the, the funnel here into the tube. It's very hard to see here, so you have to use like a tall uh, and skinny uh, <laughs> type of uh, a funnel. Alright, so now I have the uh, drive line filling tool. Uh, this differential I believe takes approximately 1.5 liters. I'm using synthetic 75 w90 is good for all uh, uh, temperatures so um i'm just going to be using this because i already have the fluid inside here so i'm just going to use this you can just uh, pour down uh, uh, into the funnel if it's inside a, a container or, or bottle one and a half liters I'm going to clean that off later. No, I'm just going to remove the the funnel now. We have the the dipstick here, so I'm just going to, to, to reinstall it back here. And I'm going to check the level after the vehicle is on the, is on the ground. So now I'm at the, the rear differential. I'm just using a, a leveler gauge just to see on, uh, on, on how level this vehicle is. I probably won't be able to get it exactly at zero, but I can get it close. 2.2 degrees, so that's pretty close and, and acceptable range. The numbers are going to shift and change. So I'm about two or three degrees here, so it sh it should probably be okay. So this is a a ten uh, millimeter uh, uh, Allen. Uh, either you can use a hex key or a hex bit. So we're gonna open the top first and then the bottom. If you're having issues here, if there's any dirt, you might have to use like a pick to get inside there. Maybe you may need to use a hammer to get inside before you try to, to loosen up the, uh, the fill and the drain plugs. Sometimes you can use the back of a ratchet and hit it like this. If you want so you can just use like a hammer or something to get in there so you don't uh, <laughs> round out the uh, the hex here yeah. This one is all loose now. Now we're going to do the bottom.
I'm gonna loosen the bottom now. There we go. I'm gonna open up the top here. We have the uh, uh, don't forget the drain gasket. You should be replacing the drain gasket each time, but I I don't have one. Uh, I don't have any uh, at this time. We want to remove the the drain plug now. Don't forget to clean the the magnet here to get rid of the the metallic uh, particles. So once it's uh, done draining, you can close up the drain plug up. Just making sure there's no dirt or anything in there. We, we are going to torque it down afterwards. Just gonna tighten up a, a tiny bit. Now we are going to fill up the <laughs> differential now. This one takes about 0.8 of a liter, approximately. So we're going to fill it up. I'm using a drive line uh, a filling tool by uh, Asin Macker. I'll uh, put the link in the <laughs> description. It's very cold outside, so the, the flow of the gear oil is is very slow, so it will be a lot harder to do the service in, in cold weather than in comparison to doing it in the, the summertime in, the, in where the weather is a, a lot warmer. So once you start to see the fluid, uh, tr trickle out, then then you can stop. Just putting in a little bit more. So now it's coming out. So that's when you stop. So once it's a, a steady thin stream, then you can reinstall the plug, the fill plug. Install the plug. If you are able to uh, try to get the 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 washer or the 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 gasket for the drain and the fill because those should be replaced at, at every service. So it may or may not leak. So you have to be careful there. I know a lot of times guys don't replace them and most of the time they do not leak but you should replace them at, at every service. So I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit. We are going to uh, 
torque it down. So I believe the torque spec for the, both of these plugs are 37 uh, foot pounds. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see. Uh, and uh, if if in case if uh, I'm wrong, and then please forgive me. I'll post the proper specs on the screen. Uh, either way. So this is torque to 37 and this is torque to 37 so all you need to do is to wash this all down and then you're all good to go wash this all down clean everything up and then uh, you're all good to go Now I'm just going to check the the fluid level. Make sure it's at the the full mark. There's some dirt here because uh, the differential hasn't been serviced in a long time, so there's some uh, the, like rust around the dipstick tube. So as long as it's full here, and then uh, you're all good to go. Try and get that focus. So so as long as it's on the on the full mark over here. On the line and then you're okay that's it for today if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you guys next time have a good day and take care.